Hey YouTube, one thing to remember when you're trying to stay warm out there in winter, whether you're sitting by the fire at a base camp, whether you're hiking, um, or whether you're just, you know, trying to get a good night's sleep in your tent and sleeping bag. Um, just like with the rest of, of your gear, you know, you have layered shirts, layered jackets, everything else. Don't forget to layer your actual head. And so I have a quick layering system that I thought I'd share with everyone and just to put the idea out there and see how other people layer as well. So my first piece of gear, which is to me the absolute must, it's one of my favorite finds out there. It's an Ibex wool beanie. It is really, really thin and I use this all the time. I don't know if you can see, but it's got some ear flaps, it wicks, it stays remarkably dry, and this is always what I consider a base layer, very similar to like wool long underwear. This is a base layer for my head. So it goes on like that. If you can see, it covers the ears, it covers everything. Again, it's really light. It's that base layer against my head and my ears to keep everything warm. On top of that, I really have two options that I use most of the time. The next one is actually by Turtle Fur. This is a, another little beanie, if you can see, with the ear flaps as well. What I really like about this one, aside from the fact that it has that Turtle Fur interior, is that it has a wind blocking layer on the outside. The combination of this and the one, the base wool layer, is phenomenal. Um, I keep that warm insulation with the base, and then I have this wool blocking capability, or I should say blocking capability of the Turtle Fur on top of it. The last layer that I use is kind of my puffy insulation layer, um, similar to having a puffy ski jacket down, and I have a down beanie. Um, this one is by Blackrock. It's one that I've seen online a bunch, and it is pricey. Um, vested in it last winter, wore it a ton, sleep in this thing, it is phenomenal. In fact, a lot of times it's actually too warm to wear when you're really doing a good mid-hike. But similar with everything else, you just throw it on top and you have your base layer underneath and you have your puffy layer on top. It's very compressible. It weighs next to nothing. It's really easy just to throw in your bag at any given time. So to recap, your base layer, your long underwear, remember it's good for your body, it's good for your head. A wind block layer with a little bit more insulation on it. This is good for windy days or a lot of times when I'm still just trying to get warm. And then, as always, great for camp, great for really cold days. Um, the final, the down poofy layer. I'd love to hear what you guys think. If you have any tips or suggestions for me, I'm always interested. I love getting out there in really cold weather. And so anything you guys have, please leave a comment and um, have a great day and stay warm, warm out there.